Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back to another video. So today I've got a sketchbook tour and I've been working on this one for a while now. Um, well, I'll say well, since January. And I finally finished it. So yeah. This was a sticker design of just a little sort of sprite that I did, but the sticker paper that I got was really bad and this was actually black when it printed. I went over the eyes, well as you can see it just kind of rubs off. The paper is just terrible so I do not recommend, I don't know what the brand was but yeah. And that was, that is one of my other sticker designs which you may have seen in Dory's video if you saw her ACO April haul because I sent her a couple. Um, it kind of got a bit wet and my daughter's been at it but yeah. And then some of her Peppa Pig stickers but anyway. So I started on 18th, I finished on the 18th of May. But yeah. Um, this is a Winter and Newton. I can't remember like the gram paper it is or anything, but this is a really nice sketchbook, and I will find a link so you can buy it. This is the A5 version, but the paper is like super thick and really smooth, so and it's perforated, which is nice. So you can always take it out if you want to. But this was for the Art Addicts Alliance New Year resolution goal piece um, and I'll leave a link to that video uh, around on the screen somewhere um, but yeah random pen sketch because I got this I think it's a Muji pen I'm not sure and I wanted to try all the different colours so yeah I did that <laughs> nothing special but yeah this one you may recognise because it was my last Art Addicts Alliance video well I say my last it depends when this video goes out because the masks one needs to go out, but it's one of the Alliance ones where we weren't allowed to use any wet art medium. So yeah, that's that one. And um, these were some little sticker designs I was doing for conventions. There's a little Dino Dan sketch there if you can see him. Um, yeah, I've not really done anything with these yet. I was thinking of trying to make some like little planner stickers because I'm actually in the process of designing my own sort of planner pages. Um, just because I can never find one that's exactly how I like it, but yeah, that, that's for another video. And the original Dino Dan sketches, and if you don't know who Dino Dan is, if you go onto my Facebook page, which is linked down below, you'll probably see a fair bit of him around. But I've done stickers and badges. Um, here's one of the little button badges that Claire from Black Summer Colouring um, made into a badge for me but yeah <laughs> um, this was for the Totoro piece which I believe is up on my channel already this this was the first little sketch and then it went to that and I did try doing it more front on but yeah this was for a spirited away sketch that I wanted to do and I kind of never got around to finishing it. I wasn't overly happy with how this was turning out, so it never really got finished. This is for a Princess Mononoke painting that I have... Oh, there goes my keyboard. <laughs> I have drawn out ready to paint, but I haven't got around to painting it yet. Uh, yeah, so that's hopefully one to look forward to. Um, that I was planning on doing like a series of Ghibli cats which is why I've got like this really fat no face cat because I thought inspired by the scene where they're in the bathhouse and like Chihiro he gives Chihiro all of the little bath token things but yeah so I did a few and then it was my ACO April planning which didn't get very far um, another one that was supposed to be for the Studio Ghibli cats and same with that one they were both like inspired by Ponyo sort of thing but again that was the first sketch from my Ponyo ACO yeah, um, and then we've got another one that's supposed to be like a Ponyo cat, the Unifarben first original uh, sketch for the ACO April ones because I drew them all out in here first and then transferred them over. Uh, Jazz Capri, Dory from Dory Stories, Megan from Megan Lou Who. Um, this was my initial sketches for Marvin the Unicorn for from Claire for Black Summer Colouring, her little mascot. Um, but yeah, I wasn't happy with how they turned out, so 
these are like the cute little robots that I designed which I've actually turned into stickers uh, where do I put those? I may have them lying around somewhere I'm not sure if I can find them I will show them at some point oh, there they are yeah I've done some cute little robot stickers which were also ACOs as well I coloured them in yeah as ACOs and there's the Marvin sketch um, this was inspired by The Greatest Showman um, yeah amazing film absolutely loved it this is Christina from Hit Art and another one inspired by The Greatest Showman again not really happy with how the sketch came out so I didn't really do anything with it but oh, sorry about my phone um, Ed from Mr Ed Draws Uh, this is Mini from Mini Sea Star. I'll leave a link to all the channels down below, which I think they're normally down there anyway because it's all from the Alliance. Um, Evie from Illustration with Evie. Draw Art Lab. Another one of the Alliance members. This one was Art for Fun, I think was this one's. I just drew one of her. Like in my style, her one of her drawings. Um, but yeah, not overly happy with how it turned out. Erin from oh man, I really need to remember all of these YouTube names. Uh, <laughs> damn, I'll just put it in like a little text box or some Ink Tangles. There we go. I remembered. This is from Ink Tangles again. I'm not happy with how it turned out. Uh, this was actually a random sketch I did while I was at the Worcester MCon. Um, I was just waiting for people to come in because it hadn't quite opened yet when I finished setting up and yeah, random sketch. And I had a proper nerd moment because Jellybee was sat behind me. There was like my table, another table and then Jellybee. And I was like proper fangirling and my sister was there with me doing the table and she was like, you're such a weirdo. I was like, but, but it, it's, it's Jellybee. <laughs> And I did this sketch thinking, maybe if I get the courage I'll go over and give it to her, but then I didn't, and then my table got busy, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a real fango moment. Um, this is for a series that I'm hoping to do, which actually goes along with my mask that I've done. Sorry about my phone again. I shall put that on silent. Yes, it goes along with my mask that I've done for the Art Addicts Alliance, and that's something... I'm kind of going to go into in another video because I have quite a few that are like painting ideas and stuff to go along with that mask that I want to do and make a whole series about. Um, yeah, so that's for another day. And I don't know how well you'll see these. They're just like little concept sketches. Again, to go with that series I was doing. Um, but. I don't know if I'll actually use these ones or not. I kind of like this one. Again, I don't know how well you can actually see that, but yeah. And again, I think a lot of this half of the book is the same drawing series. But that's another that, that's a painting idea I want to finalize first, finalize the sketch, and then go into a full piece. But I'm thinking of doing this one on a large canvas. Which will be fun because I've not done a big painting like that for a while. It, the sketches for my collab with Claire from Black Summer Colouring for ACO April. Um, again, this is where I attempted at Mermaid. And I really liked this sketch, but that's as far as it got was the sketch. And my goal for Mermaid was to do just at least try and do a sketch a day. Um, not doing like full finished pieces, and I just couldn't even keep up with that. But yeah. I got really into this hooded mermaid character, so I've drawn her a few times, again, hoping that possibly they might become full pieces at some point, but uh, yeah. This one was just a random biro one, which I'm not really happy with the proportions or anything, but uh, yeah. Random cat, which isn't very good. Videos that I don't want to do. Um, this one... I've done a little colouring book set with like little chibi mermaids that are designed around like this brand, uh, what's it called? Swizzlers. 
Uh, it's like uh, the old sweets, candy sweets, but like Palmer Violets. That one was inspired by them. Uh, another mermaid one, like a magical girl mermaid. Then that was but the Love Heart sweets, if you've seen them. Um, and this is to go to that series I was on about, the whole painting series to match the mask. I just got really inspired by the mask's theme and then ended up with all of these. So I've got all of these different concepts, each one of these is a different idea for a painting. And I love how this one turned out. I think I might have to just like do that so you can kind of see the sketch. But yeah, I love the sketch and I really can't wait to put this one into a full painting. Again, I think I'm going to do it as a big canvas, possibly, but I'm not sure. These are my mask designs, and this was the one I kind of went with well, a cross of those two, but I've not done the eye on the top, which I'll link to the masks video because that'll be out before this one. Um, drumstick squashies, so it's another chibi sweet candy mermaid. I tried drawing a bat because it's something I've not drawn before. I thought I'd do a little cute one, but yeah. Random sketch of a mermaid attempting for mermaid again and just kind of never went anywhere. <laughs> um, research for my masks video. A warrior kind of samurai mermaid. Yep, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of unfinished sketches in here. And the final one, which is probably one of my favourites out of this whole book. But, yeah, that I think I might make into a sticker possibly, but I don't know yet. But yes, anyway. That, uh, random stuff. That is my sketchbook. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I really do highly recommend this sketchbook. I've not really done it a lot in here apart from like this page, but this it does hold markers fairly well. I mean, it's bled through the paper there, but it didn't go to the other page, so that's, that's not bad quality really. Um, yeah, I've not really done it anywhere. I'm not too sure how it holds up against watercolour, but I'm pretty sure it will hold against like acrylic, possibly gouache if you don't use a lot of water, but I'm not sure. And it. it it's really nice to do pencil crayons on, or coloured pencils, whichever you want to call it. So, yeah, and just, to be honest, just for doing pencil sketches, it's because it's such smooth paper, it is really nice to draw on, and because it's a ring binder and hardback, you know, you can flatten it, and it's quite easy to just chuck in your bag and not worry about, but yeah. I'm going to stop rambling now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!